Dave, you've got a background in designing infographics. Um, how did that happen? Wow. I, well, I went to art school. That was my original training. And uh, I got my, my first art job out of school was uh, doing information graphics for a newspaper. And uh, so I learned on the, on the job. And uh, I can't tell you, I can't think of a more fascinating career, really, because uh, information design and information graphics, if, if you do them um, for a living, you're, you're it's like being paid to be a student for the rest for your entire life because you're always learning things and um, you're taking new information in all the time, assimilating it, visualizing it. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful career. If you have a graph, if you have comparison points and all that, how do you take something like that, which is usually dry and boring, and turn it into mm. something interesting like an infographic? Well, I, I learned how to make infographics when I was probably you know, maybe 10, 9 or 10 years old in school. And uh, the way that I learned was my, my tendency w was in order to learn something, I had to sort of visualize it for myself, whether it was drawing a graph or, or uh, drawing a picture of some kind. And um, what I learned was uh, if I would just listen and try and draw something, it, almost always I was wrong. However... What I would do is I would sit and draw in the back of class, and then at the end of the class I would go up to the teacher and show the teacher my picture. What I learned was even if a teacher, even if someone is not a visual person, if you show them a picture as a starting point, they can fix it. They can correct it. <laughs> so they, they, everyone is visual. We're all visual thinkers in a, in a, in a larger sense. And this, if, if, we, if, we can walk, if you can walk into a room and not fall down, you know, you're a visual thinker. You're keeping your balance. There's a lot of things that your, your brain is doing you're not even aware of. And so, um, and this is actually played out in my professional career. You know, um, I make, I listen, and I try and understand something. I s draw and, or sketch it as best I can. And then I show it to someone who is an expert who really understands the field, and they will help. And so um, I see the process of visualizing information as a very collaborative, participatory process. Uh, the more complex the uh, issue is the more people you have to, you know, run it by. So you might have to, sometimes you might, um, in a technology solution, for example, you might need to talk to six or seven, ten people before you have all the pieces and parts together. And, and one of the things that uh, we developed in the, the company that I started, which is called Explain, was we helped, uh, we developed a lot of tools and methodologies for groups to draw together in a kind of facilitated uh, way. And um, uh, the result of that is actually out there. It's a book called Game Storming, which is sort of a bunch of like uh, practices that you can do with sticky notes and um, simple line drawings to, and to, to actually get information out of people that you can put into an infographic. Thank you very much. <laughs>